Okay, so we watched the video. So a data center is a giant warehouse with row upon row upon row of computer. And I hope that you saw like every single one of those rows that they saw had, had a rack. And that rack had maybe 15, 20, maybe 30 different computers in it. And I want you to think back to like uh, in the elementary when we were in my computer lab in the elementary and, and not the screen, but the, that tower that sat next to the screen, that tower, if it was just full of hard drives, those hard drives, like that one, that one computer, there was like 40 of them, 30 of them, 40 of them on this rack. And that rack went that whole entire row, row upon row. And that row repeated itself over and over and over again. We're talking these warehouses have thousands of different computers and hard drives in them. And all they do is just store information. Why do we have giant warehouses just full of computers storing information? And the reason why is because everything, everything that you do online has to go somewhere. It doesn't just go, it doesn't just go from your computer or your phone to somebody else's phone. Like it has to exist somewhere in the world and it exists in these data centers and these data centers might be in Iowa they might be in Brazil they might be in Singapore they might be um, you know in Altoona they could be all over the place and it all depends on what kind of data center you use when we send a Gmail when we write it it does not go from your computer to your friend's computer it goes to this data center and it sits there and it waits and it's just a copy of it that then when your friend accesses gmail they they don't go to your computer and say what was the gmail that you sent me they go to this data center and they bring the email down from this data center so this these data centers are huge and actually uh these data centers uh are even in our own backyard i want to take us real quick to um a couple of places so first off we're gonna we're gonna go to Google Maps real quick, okay? And so you kind of see me pulling up Google Maps right here, and in Google Maps, um, if I can identify where we are, so here we go. So so we're here in Hartford. This is where we're at right now. Uh, raise your hand if you've been to the Bass Pro Shops in Altoona. I'm sure lots of you have been. To, okay, lots. Okay, put your hands down. So in Altoona, if we kind of zoomed in here and and went to Bass Pro Shops, I'm gonna I'm gonna use Street View, which we used like in the kind of second grade here so I'm gonna, I'm gonna street view it right here it's gonna zoom in so all right so this is bass pro shops okay but if you've ever been to bass pro shops and you look on the other side of the street you're gonna see this giant warehouse and this giant warehouse right here is a data center and it's run by Facebook and so like anything that is posted on Facebook uh, can come to one of these data centers not not this is not the only one Facebook has as lots and lots of data centers all around the world. But this one right here uh, is located, you know, right right in Altoona, right, right by our Bass Pro Shops. And and chances are if you, if your mom or your dad posts a picture of you or a video of you to Facebook, like it has to exist somewhere. And it's probably right here in this data center uh, in in Altoona, right next to the boat Bass Pro Shops. And there's other ones too. So if I went back to uh, Hartford here, uh, raise your hand if you've been to, here's Carlisle, raise your hand if you've been to Jordan Creek Mall. Okay. Yeah. Everyone's been to Jordan Creek Mall. So to get to Jordan Creek Mall, you travel on Highway 5 all the way out here. And if I were to take a look at Highway 5, I'm going to kind of put it right here. Um, well, this is not, no, not this part. I don't know what. I don't even know what this is. Um, let's try that again. If we were to look at Highway 5, like, let's go right here. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Here we go. So uh, we're traveling on Highway 5. Like, this is our way back to, here's here's the way to Jordan Creek Falls, the way back to Carlisle. But if we took a look over here, okay, it's a giant warehouse. And some of you may have seen this before, and you thought, like, well, what is this giant warehouse? Well, this giant warehouse is Microsoft. And Microsoft and their Hotmail and their OneDrive and their Word Online, like it also has a data center. Uh, Amazon has a data center. Google has data centers. Um, Apple has data centers. All the giant tech companies has these giant data centers that exist. And inside, if you went in here, all you'd see is just row upon row upon row 
of computers that are just storing all of this information. So why does that matter to us? Well, we're going to get onto Google Drive here in a second, and we're going to write a document. We're going to make a new document. We're going to put some writing into it. And, and where is it being stored? It's being stored in one of these data centers. Chances are uh, it's going to be stored in the one in Council Bluffs because that's the closest Google data center. But there's others as well. There's a decent chance that your document that you make today might be stored in Europe's data center or even Asia's data center. And that what you type and what you write to take could travel around the world and back to your computer in a matter of nanoseconds, which is crazy when you think about it. So we're going to get onto Google Drive, but I want you to understand that the big thing is like when you make something in Google Drive, where is it? It's in a data center. Sometimes people call it the cloud. It's not a cloud. It's a data center, which is out in the middle of nowhere, a giant factory or warehouse that exists. And it's just row upon row upon row of computers that store your information.